YouTube. I hope you are doing amazing. Tell me what you're sipping on right now. I have a homemade um, iced latte with almond milk and it is amazing. Um, naked nails right now, but I am trying to decide what I'm going to put on. So tell me what is on your nails right now. I always love hearing um, different mixed manis because that's my jam. I never do just one color. I always mix it up. So let me know what's on your nails. All right, so with our new um, compensation plan being built for strong sellers, in my opinion, um, and the ranks all being GV driven, um, we really need to be focusing on parties, whether you are a leader or whether you are um, a stylist just hustling to um, max out the comp plan or take advantage of the generous enhanced commission bonuses that are available. Um, this training here is going to help you. So I'm going to share with you several different ways that you can hold nail bars. So this is a party planning business, which means if we want to continue um, to expand our circle and boost our sales, book new parties, get those orders, enroll those new stylists, we have to be holding nail bars. That's the only way that we are going to continue to expand our circle consistently. <clears throat> now you can expand your circle, you know, by meeting people out in public or, you know, things like that. But to really get that momentum going um, and start that freight train, as I would say, you have to be holding nail bars. Um, and, you know, I was going to talk about why do we hold nail bars? I've already discussed that. It's to expand our circle. It's to boost our volume, get those new customers, grow our VIP group, um, book parties off of parties, and possibly get new stylists. So another thing that I want to touch on before I even get into the different ways that we can hold nail bars, I want to stress the fact that there is no such thing as a flopped party. Let me tell you, way back in my Color Street journey, I used to get so discouraged when I would have a flopped party. Do you know how many potential customers, VIPs, hostesses, and maybe even stylists I let go by because I failed to do the biggest part of my job and that is to connect. Every single nail bar that you do, I don't care what style of nail bar you are doing, it is your job to connect and welcome every single person. Offer a two finger tester to every single person. And if you are not doing that, then you, my friend, are flopping that party. So let me just tell you, if you have a nail bar and there are five people invited to that nail bar and not one of those people orders, is that a flopped party? Heck no, it is not. That is five new potential customers, five new potential VIPs, five new potential orders, five new potential hostesses. So make sure that you are personally connecting with every single person that is invited to every single nail bar. I don't care what style of nail bar you are doing. Okay. Woo. Now that that preaching is done, y'all already know when you get on with Danielle, you will go to Color Street Church. Sorry, not sorry. If you know, you know. Okay. Now let's talk about the different ways to hold nail bars. And before I get into that, let me know below your favorite way to do nail bars, because there are probably several ways that I'm not even going to mention on this training. So let me know below, please. What is your favorite style of nail bar to hold? Okay. Most of these I'm going to just skim through. Um, what I want you to do is take the ideas that I share and make it your own because that's what this business is all about is being unique, being you. You want to be authentic, you wanna come up with ideas and you wanna run your business the way that fits you. So I will go through these and I want you to take these ideas and run with it. Take these ideas and make it yours. Okay, so the first one is a text party. So in theory, that is your hostess creating um, a text message thread 
and inviting all of their friends, family, coworkers, whoever to that. And then you party in that text message thread. You can make it as little or as much as you want. You can just share, you know, what is Color Street? You can share a quick application video. Um, you can share an ordering special. You can do as little or as much as you want, but you are partying in a text message thread. The next one is a Facebook Messenger. So it's the same exact thing as text message, but it's done on Facebook Messenger. So again, as little or as much as you want. Sometimes overdoing it, you will have people leave the thread because they just don't wanna be overwhelmed. So me personally, when I do a party in a Facebook Messenger thread, I do very little. I will share what is Color Street. I will share a quick application of just applying a Tuzi. that's it. And then I always offer an ordering special. And that's up to you. Um, my thought is a lot of these people that are invited to these nail bars are already attached to another stylist. So in order to gain their business and get that connection with them, I have to offer something to get them to support their hostess and purchase through me. So a lot of times I'll offer accent packs with every order. I will offer a scratch off card with every order. Um, and sometimes depending on how close the hostess is to her level of rewards, whether it's level one, two, three, whatever, um, I might even offer a free set. So I might say, Anybody that places an order to help Danielle reach her next level of rewards is getting an additional free set from me. So that's buy three, get one online, plus an additional from me. So you're buying three sets and getting two free. So don't break the bank, don't sell the farm, um, do what fits your budget for your business, but it really just depends and it's a case by case basis um, with the parties. And another thing that I take into consideration is my personal volume for that month. So let's say that, you know, I'm super close to hitting the next level of enhanced commission or the first level of enhanced commission and i want to hit that goal so i may end up going out on a limb and saying you know what this party is getting the farm i am going to offer some amazing specials for this party because i want to hit that level of enhanced commission so it's again it's you it's your business you do what fits your business um, but please don't put yourself in debt or do something that doesn't fit your budget for the month because we don't want to do that um, the next one <clears throat> is a Zoom party. So this would be almost as good as having an in-home party. And what you would do is send out invites. You can send those out through a Facebook event. You can send them out in the mail, like a good old fashioned party. Um, some Zoom parties that I've heard of, people will send out an envelope ahead of time and they will say, do not open this until the party. And then everybody opens it together on the Zoom and it is, basically accent nails. So it's twosies, it's two finger testers, it's samples, whatever you want to call it. Um, they open it up and everybody applies their twosie together and the hostess will go through a demonstration. What is Color Street? You guys can play games. Again, take the idea and run with it. But Zoom has a free option um, where you can have like up to 100 people on the Zoom link um, and you can go for a maximum of 40 minutes before it cuts you off with the free version. So you can get a Zoom account and do that. Um, the next one is an in-home party. So again, that would run just like the Zoom party. You would go to someone's home and you would bring some nails with you. A lot of times people um, will offer some type of special. Like if you wanna do your nails here with us, you can get a full set for X amount of dollars, or you can split a set with your friend and you can both share a set. You know, Use your imagination, um, do what fits your business. But in-home parties are a lot of fun because um, you can do like a girl's night in and you know the host can invite her friends over. You can have wine and snacks and drinks and you know make it fun, have fun with it. Um, but for the in-home party, you would wanna bring definitely um, twosies. You would wanna bring some of your personal inventory if you have that. Um, bring some fun games to play. And if you don't know what games to play, you can search in upline um, team pages because there are lots of ideas for in-home parties. Okay, so the next one would be pop-up parties. Um, and I actually just did a connect the dots on this um, April 8th. So a week ago today, I did connect the dots on this and I shared tons of pop-up ideas. So go to the official um, Color Street Stylist Group and search that connect the dots um, and you will get tons of ideas. The next way is a Facebook event. 
So some people prefer to do Facebook events um, because they feel like it keeps the party organized. It gives the option of notifying the guests. The only issue with the Facebook events is at this current time, I am unaware of any way that you can schedule posts ahead of time in a Facebook event. Even with third party scheduling apps, there is no way to schedule in a Facebook event. If you know of a way, let me know because that could be a game changer. But currently, I don't know of a way. Um, so a Facebook event, you could run that as long or as short as you want to. Some people do one hour parties, some people do 10 day parties. It really just depends and it's whatever um, fits your business and what you wanna do. The next one is a VIP um, girls night in. So I've done these before where I do um, game nights in my VIP group every two weeks. And when I say game night, that is a 30 minute block of time where I do a post every three to five minutes. And it's just bam, bam, bam. It's, you know, this or that, it's interactive games, it's a game night special. Um, you know, whatever I'm feeling that time is what I do. And I get all of my graphics from the graphics groups. I don't create any of them on my own because um, I just don't have time for that. And the ones that are in the graphics groups are amazing. So why not use them? So you, what you can do is have your hostess co-host a game night with you. So you would let them know, um, invite your friends to my VIP group and we are going to have the game night Sunday at 8 PM. Let them know. And then I use a link tree for everything. So my link tree goes to my domain. So I share that everywhere. And then anybody that is hosting for me at that current time, their link is on my link tree, which is my domain. So all I do is share that everywhere. And then if somebody wants to purchase from that hostess, they click on my website, it goes to my link tree, and then they can scroll down to their hostess's name if they wanna shop and support that hostess. And if I am having other hostesses with me on the game night, I will specify that when I share um, the game night special. And I will say, hey, don't forget, Sally and Sue and Sandy are all co-hosting with me. So if you would like to support your hostess, you can go here. If you are a VIP and you are wanting to shop, then click on VIP shopping. And that is all on the link tree. Um, and I have done trainings on this channel with QR codes, link trees, all that jazz. So if you wanna get more detail on that, you can just search on this channel and you can find um, lots of information. I can't even keep up with all of the videos that are on this channel now. And I plan to keep putting messages out. So just beware. Okay, so the next one is a basket party. So these parties are ideal for somebody that works around a lot of people. So like hospitals, doctor's offices, teachers, um, anything like that where your hostess comes in contact with you know, several people. And what you do with that is you just get a basket or a bag or whatever you want and you put nails in there, catalogs, twosies, and you send it with your hostess and they take it to work with them or they take it to the ball game or wherever they want to take their basket party, maybe to a cookout, I don't know. But you have to be able to trust this person because you are in theory going to be sending 10 to 20 sets of nails with this person and just be aware they will probably sell all of them. Um, you talk to the hostess, you let them know, you know, you can have people send payment to PayPal, Venmo, however you take payments or you can take cash. Um, and they, they sell the nails and your hostess gets credit for that. And you can come up with your own rewards. You can also give them their own personal shopping link. So if they see your stash and they're like, oh, I don't really like anything that's in there. Well, that's okay because you can go online and order. So um, a lot of people that do basket parties often, they just come up with their own system for hostess rewards and they say, hey, if you sell X amount of nails, this is what you're getting from me. Um, and then obviously if they sell online through their own shopping link, then they're going to be able to cash out their party link on their own and pick whatever they want. So that's a basket party. Um, <clears throat> the next one I can really unpack in several different ways, and I'll try to keep this short and sweet. Um, Facebook groups. So this is probably how the majority of people do parties. This is how I do all of my parties because I can schedule them. And there are endless options when it comes to Facebook groups. You can do a single hostess in a group. And again, you can do 
um, a one hour party. You can do a game night style party where you have posts every couple minutes for 30 minutes or 60 minutes. You can do a weekend long party. You can do a five day party, seven, 10, whatever you want to do. Um, think outside the box and come up with a fun idea. And there are lots of different um, party templates out there. If you search upline groups, you can find them. And Color Street also in the virtual office, they share nail bar assets with us. So we can use those for our parties as well. And they are gorgeous, you guys. So um, the other way is a mega party. So if you are crunched for time, but yet you are still wanting to get that volume every single month, you can do one mega party. And that mega party, you can have two hostesses, you can have 20 hostesses, whatever your heart desires, um, but you call it a mega party and you put all the hostesses in one party, you run one party, and I encourage you, um, use a link tree. If you don't know what link tree is, go look at my channel um, and you will find the training on it. Or make sure that you specify shop with Danielle here, shop with Susie here, shop with so-and-so here, and you share all the different links. That way people know where to go to support their hostess. Um, the next one is a battle party. So let's say that you have like two best friends that want to battle it out and they both invite their friends to the party and you let them know, okay, Danielle is battling Susie and each time Danielle gets an order or Susie gets an order, you let them know, hey, so-and-so, thank you for supporting Danielle. She's now in the lead. She is ahead of Susie. Um, those of you here to support Susie, she needs one more order to catch up with Danielle and you make it super fun and they battle it out. They don't have to be friends either. If you just have two people that want to host, you can say, hey, are you guys up for a battle party? Here's how it works and you explain it to them. And a lot of times they will do it. I've had several hostesses do that for me. Um, another way that I wanna to touch on, and again, this is not the last option, um, but these are just my favorite ways to do Facebook group parties, um, is a stylist battle party. So this is what I have actually done my last three parties that I've done. Um, I have hooked up with one of the stylists that's on my team. Um, she's been with me basically since the beginning. So we've been doing this business together for almost four years. And we are now doing these battle parties together, which makes it amazing um, because we will put Team Danielle, Team April, and then we put our hostesses underneath so they know who's with who. And her and I split the duties 50-50. Prizes, posting, everything. So it takes a lot of weight off of um, your shoulders when you can split that duty with somebody else. And also it creates more fun, more interaction, um, more orders. It's just all around, we are really enjoying this style of party. And currently we run um, a 10 day party because we wanna hit two different Fridays. So we kick them off on a Thursday and then it runs until the following Sunday, I think it is. Um, and it is going very, very well. We really enjoy it. And the biggest thing that her and I have gained out of this is accountability. Because I know if I fall short, I fail her and vice versa. So it has really helped to hold both of us accountable. Um, and we have just seen a huge turnaround in our personal volume because of this. Because we are holding two of these parties every single month and each party has two to four hostesses in each one. So it's just, like I said, it's going amazing. Um, we sat down together and came up with a template and um, it's just, it's been great. So if you have a stylist that you are close with, I would encourage you to reach out and try this. Start with just one hostess each if you want to. And then once you get comfortable with that, add in two or three and go from there. But this really has just been a game changer for both of us. And it has helped both of us to find the fun in our business. Um, when we started doing these battle parties, her and I both were just kind of like in the trenches. And we were like, you know, we just don't really know anymore. We were struggling. Um, we were just basically doing the bare minimum. We were hitting 300 PV and we were like, no, we, there's got to be more. Like we've got to get back to that fun. We want that fun that we used to have years ago in our business. And this style of party has brought that fun back and her and I are just having a blast with it. We love it and I hope that you try it. Okay, the last party I'm going to talk about and this is truly one of my favorite parties is um, what I call a wear and share party. If you go on my channel, I've done two different trainings on a wear and share party um, and that will unpack everything. But in theory, it's a catalog party. So I send my hostess catalogs 
um, samples. They get their own shopping link. And um, I do a fun hostess bingo behind the scenes to help my hostess to get her party information out there to get her sales. Again, go watch the training that I did on wear and share parties because um, that's a training in itself. And it is a fabulous way to do um, these catalog parties. And I also will nine times out of 10 have my hostess add her people to a messenger chat group and I will offer a special in that chat group. And that always, always, I would say, yeah, I can pretty much say always gets my hostess at least to the 150 level of hostess rewards. Because when I share that ordering special, um, as the orders come in, I share nail fees and thank them in the messenger chat. So I'll say, Danielle, thank you so much for supporting Susie. Um, she is now one order away from her first level of rewards and they see those nail sets and I always find um, nail fees on real hands. So I go to the nail fees groups and I pull gorgeous manis and I will typically find like mixed manis um, and people see those and they're like, oh my gosh, I, I need that. I want that. So that generates more like positive peer pressure and people see the sets and they want to order. So I typically always have my hostess add her guests to a messenger chat group and um, that helps tremendously. So, all right, my goal was 20 minutes. I went over 20 minutes, um, but I felt like this training was needed um, with so many people wanting to reach those enhanced commission levels. So I hope that one of these ideas has stood out to you um, and I would love for you to tell me below which party style um, you are most excited to try um, and let me know what you have taken away from this and stay tuned because there will be more trainings coming out. So if you haven't already, um, just be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can push the little bell icon and it will um, notify you every time I put new content out. So you guys, have an amazing day and just know that the best is truly yet to be. So I will talk to you soon. Bye.